If you want to quit porn, you must understand why you are where you are today. That is, you must come to terms with why you are in your present predicament. Here are the main reasons. You view porn because it's available. You are living during the worst time in human history as far as sexual temptation is concerned. You and I face more temptations of greater strength in more places at more times of the day than any other man ever faced in the past. Your challenge as a Christian man is that pornography is available with a capital A. If you carry a smartphone, you have 24-hour access to pornography of the most wicked sort right in your pocket. This helps to explain why you struggle, because your battle with porn is understandable. You didn't ask to have all of this temptation available to you all the time, everywhere you go. Now, this doesn't excuse your sin, of course, but it helps to explain it. You are hooked on porn partly because it's available. You view porn because it's affordable. There was a time when pornography was avoidable because it was unaffordable. Christian men like you and me had an easier time staying sexually pure because every form of pornography on the market, whether the open market or the black market, cost something. This made the battle for purity a lot easier because men never got snared by something they couldn't afford. Today, of course, this has all changed. Roughly 75% of all pornographic websites published either some or all of their content free of charge. This is partly why you are presently struggling to quit porn. If porn was impossibly expensive to acquire, you would be free and you and I wouldn't be having this conversation. You are hooked on porn partly because it's affordable. Pornography is powerful precisely because it's the sin you do in secret that no one knows about. If the only way you could watch porn was on a computer in a public place, you wouldn't be struggling. If your electronic devices broadcast your online activity to your spouse, your kids, your teacher, your boss, your police department, and other people of influence in your life, you wouldn't watch porn. Part of the reason you are drawn back to your habitual sin is not your fault. If pornography was only available in public, you would be sexually pure. If you were guaranteed to get caught every time you viewed wicked images and videos, you would attain and maintain sexual purity soon enough. You are hooked on porn partly because it's anonymous. You view porn because it's pleasurable. When you look at porn, your body releases unnaturally high levels of dopamine into your brain, creating feelings of euphoria and bliss. Dopamine acts as a reward system. Your brain responds to dopamine by desiring the activity that triggers it. This is the primary reason that porn is so habit-forming. It makes you feel awesome. It alters your brain chemistry, making you crave more porn with every use. This is one of the reasons that you feel so conflicted as a Christian who looks at porn. Your faith says it's wrong, but your body says it's amazing. God's word commands you to abstain from sexual immorality, but your brain says, go ahead, enjoy that awesome feeling again. And as you know, giving up anything that makes you feel good is hard to do. You view porn because your heart is wicked. Jesus says, for out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. 
Your heart isn't wicked because you watch porn. You watch porn because your heart is wicked. You are your porn problem. To conquer porn, you must change what your heart desires. This is why David asked God to give him a new heart. After David committed adultery with Bathsheba, he prayed to God, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Notice the difference. His spirit only needed to be renewed, but his heart had to be created. He needed a new heart. You are hooked on porn partly because of your unbelief. You don't believe that your sexual immorality will lead you to hell. But Jesus says otherwise. You have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you, for it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Your failure to quit your compulsive use of pornography and to forsake masturbation is evidence of your unbelief. But that can change, of course. The key to quitting porn is understanding and action. You must understand why you watch porn in the first place, and then you must take the actions that reverse those causes. You view porn because it's available, it's affordable, and it's anonymous. So you must take steps to make it unavailable, unaffordable, and public. You view porn because it's pleasurable and because your heart is wicked. So you must transform your thinking and your desires so that they align with God's will for your life. You must spend time in God's Word, spend time praying to God, and consecrate your life daily so that you no longer love what God hates and do what God forbids. At its root, watching porn is a sin of unbelief. So put your trust in God and you'll quit porn.